years ago, I made a video, and I'll link it to this, regarding my, uh, how I went from being a Christian to Luciferian. And in part of that story, I mentioned where I could have been an atheist had I not had a paranormal experience when I was young that opened my mind uh, and my eyes to things that to this day I don't really have a good explanation for. But I also realize that it's just a um, eyewitness testimony, so it you know it wouldn't have any valid in court. So, I'm not saying this to convince of anybody, just sharing my experience of what I witnessed that uh, when I turned my back on the Bible and God and all that. I'm just like, I had enough of praying and all that stuff. I could have been an atheist if I was like, no, wait a minute. There was that one time. So, I mentioned it briefly in the video, but I didn't go into detail. So, I thought maybe I'd go ahead and share that. That way, at least I have it. Have it for uh, later to share it with others. So this is my paranormal experience. And yes, I will explain why this is in here in a second. So my the first, parano uh, first experience was when I was about six years old. Me and my childhood friend, Brooke, which I often called her um, Rookie. When it, was, it was like little, little. Uh, we were spending the night at her great-grandmother's house for a visit. I remember it was my first visit and her, her great-grandmother giving me and Brooke a stuffed toy. Now, as I recall years later, um, what I do remember it looking like was like a, um, probably like an unused, I don't think it, it wasn't used, but it was a, like a stuffed toy that you'd give to like a, a small dog. But, I mean, like, we were kids, so, like, what are you going to give a, a five- and a six-year-old? But, um, but yeah, like, I, I remember having that for a long time. Now, I don't remember anything that she said during that visit, but I do remember having, like, an impression of her being, like, really sweet lady. Well, later that night, when we was uh, all asleep, now, as a kid, you know, like, we didn't have actual beds, but we just had like a uh, like a cot laid out for separate areas for me and her laying down. And um, we were there that night when we was all in bed. And one of our toys started to make a sound. Now that's the toy that you see in this photo. I actually had to look this up. It's like a 1980s, 90s telephone. But it was a toy phone that you had to pull across the floor in order for it to make sound. As you can see it's got this little string here. You'd pull it across, and as the uh, wheels would move, it would ring some kind of bell on the inside. And it scared us half to death, because there was no one pulling it. We sat up, uh, sat up straight in our beds, and stared at the toy. And it continued to ring for a few moments. And both of us just kind of looked at each other, you know, but I remember to this day, my entire body felt like a giant goose pimple. Like, we just kind of, like, froze, looked at it, looked at each other, looked back at it, and about the time that we did that, it stopped. And then, like, a few seconds after that happened, Brooke's uh, grandma and grandpa had opened the door and turned on the light. Well, we were both still sitting up, staring at each other, like... Wondering what the fuck just happened, right? Like, so, well, her great-grandmother had passed away that night. Now, we didn't know that until, like, like uh, days later. Because they didn't tell us that she passed away. But I'm convinced that she was saying goodbye. Well, we were told to quit playing, you know, when they turned the light and they saw us. They told us to quit playing and go back to bed. We were still just sitting there looking at each other, but we finally did lay down and, um, you know, fall asleep. But, like, I never forgot. Well, now this is something that I've kind of came to conclusion to, and I could be wrong. But I think that, um, I don't think that Brooke forgot either about that experience. I don't know if she ever spoke to anybody else. Um, 
At least she didn't for, I don't think she did for a while. The last time I saw her was a few years later. And she was staying <coughs> at her grandparents' uh, vacation house. I think it was around 1998, 1999. Because, uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm reading my notes here to make sure to stay on track. There were like some video games that we were playing at the time, like Ocarina of Time, and doing like the little jump across the bridge, it'd be side jump, there's like invisible rupees, like that was still like considered new, um, so like a new trick, so like it was pretty far back there, but she had never talked about the other stuff that I, um, yeah, she never talked about it, but there was other thing about the about the moment we shared with the ghost kind of deal but there were other things that she did bring up with me while I was in that visit such as mixing herbs and water which she called like a healing tonic so like this is something that like I would be of interest to talk to her now but yeah she was way ahead of me on that and I never got a chance to talk to her about it but she did this is what surprised me. I remember during that visit, she used some of that. Uh, uh, she used some of that water on her grandpa when he talked about having a pain where his neck was. I remember her rubbing some of that on her hands and putting it on his neck, and him playing along and uh, saying that it helped. So I never got a chance to talk to her about that, and I don't know if. Uh, that was spawned from curiosity or if that was part of the experience because, again, that's what kept me from being atheist is remembering that. So I don't know if that had an effect on her or not. Now, I do have one other thing I was going to share is... Now, this is a toy that I got at the gas station from the last time that I saw her. I bought this from the... I got this from the town. I remember I begged my parents for it. I didn't buy it. But I begged my parents for this. And I had a weird gut feeling that it would be the last time that I'd see her. So, I've, you can tell, this is really wore out. Because I've had this since, bef just before I started fifth grade. I've never actually completely opened it. Um, but I'm sure it's not worth as much as it would be. But yeah, I got this at the gas station in the her grandparents' town as a keepsake. Um, so I know that like this isn't just completely dream. Like, and um, I would love to talk to her about the experience myself. But anyhow, that's my paranormal experience that kind of kept me from going over the other side. It's like there's some things that I can't explain it even to this day.